Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. Oh my god, I think I just found the best assault rifle in the game. Please, I hope they don't nerf this. I hope they don't nerf this. I hope they don't nerf this. I am talking about the Arctic Star Helix. Now, this is an anointed version. Oh, of course, as you can see right here. Now, this weapon is awesome. Comes with the red text. The stars are better off without us. Which is actually a reference to one of my favorite TV shows called The Expanse. Now, let me tell you about The Expanse. If you like Mass Effect, you're going to love this show right here. The Expanse. The music, everything, it just screams Mass effect it is freaking awesome now it started off as a sci-fi series then it got picked up by Netflix and now you got season 5 and 4 coming boom right here to Amazon so check that out it's going to start showing in December now let's go over some of these stats we have 404 times 300 damage giving us roughly around 1200 damage 79% accuracy 56% handling 2.4 on the reload we got 7.6 second on the fire rate 24 in the magazine 2.25 times the zoom and of course it's Cairo so we got 110% efficiency and it's anointed version on action skill and we're going to deal a 125% more damage to badasses names and bosses for a short amount of time. So let's do a little bit of math on that. So we got 1212 on the damage, anointed prox at 125%, so 1.25 times 12. We got 1500 damage. Yeah, this weapon is a beast. Now, where did I get this? I got it from the destroyers. That's right, Tyrion the Destroyer. So head on to Pandora into the Destroyer's Rift, and you see something pop here up on the screen. If you're having troubles with farming her, I put out a video a couple, about a week ago, about the uh, fadeaway in game flag build, which basically is going to give you uh, pretty much your fadeaways are going to stay up all the time, roughly around 10 seconds of downtime, really, really fast. So if you're having problems with that, check out that video, and you should be pretty much good to go if you're having a little troubles with farming Tyrene. Now, this is the run that I got it on, and this is the build that I got it on. So, boom, there you go right there. Now, normally, with a little bit of RNG, you can get this bad boy to drop. Now, this is a world drop. Of course, you can pretty much get this from anywhere, but... I actually didn't get it from her. I got it from out of the vault. That's right. A lot of times I even forget to check back here. So make sure you check back here because you never know what you're going to get. Now you should also see something pop up on the screen. Now a lot of people have talked about the loaded dice and a lot of people saying that I really don't see a difference in the luck. It doesn't really change anything. But what I personally think is that it puts you in a different pool of different weapons so you get them better versions better item versions and anointed versions of course just like you see right here there it is the arctic star helix now once again the expanse <laughs> let's talk about it the expanse had weapons and it was from the star helix which was actually like a police division as you can see it right here now this is the auto version of it now this weapon fires in automatic and it has a three Look, three little bursts, like a little bangerang. As you can see right here, look at that. One, two, three. So you're actually shooting out three little bullets with this. So it's absolutely amazing. And you're absolutely going to be freezing people because of the Cairo. And it comes in different versions as well. So I kind of lucked out with getting the Cairo version of this and getting an anointed version of this with that extra little effects with the 125 percent so we're going to head into the proving ground of the instant you're going to see how well this weapon performed in the end game and oh my god this gun melts please i hope they don't nerf this i hope they don't nerf this really i really think i found possibly the best assault rifle in the game of course i have the anointed version and it has all the extra fixes on it but hey i played a lot of borderlands 3 and i play with a lot of freaking guns and by far, this is the best weapon that I've played with as far as assault rifles are concerned. Now, if you found a better weapon than this as far as assault rifles are, please let me know down below so I can get my farm on for it. But for me, I play with a lot of weapons, and this weapon is freaking awesome. So yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another legendary weapon right here from your boy Carpo. Once again, World Drive can get this from anywhere, but you see... I got it from over there at Tyrene in the vault, so make sure you keep a lookout for that. So yeah, 
that's pretty much going to end it, ladies and gentlemen. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you really want to help out the channel and the video, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And don't forget, I upload daily Borderlands 3 videos. So turn on that bell notification and stay up to date for more Borderlands 3 videos. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.